once again at the Audley End House and Gardens uh, Jacobian uh, mansion the very best finest in England uh, this place was given to Lord Thomas Audley who was the Lord Chancellor for Henry VIII so Henry VIII gave this place to uh, Sir Thomas Audley and it used to be the old um, the old Walden Abbey uh, uh, so he took over here so this is the uh, the garden yeah. so you can see here and in back in the day in the 17th and 18th century you know having these type of stately gardens was uh, very much in line with the you know the times of the French Revolution and you know how uh, people were very much interested in beautifying the the land so as you can see I'm gonna go back into the main building and uh, as I said before um, this place is built in 1538 the current um, house is sitting on a land that's about a third the size of what it used to be um, yeah and it was built on a budget of about 200,000 pounds then by uh, Thomas Howard the first Earl of Suffolk the son of Sir Thomas Audley now when he built this place up obviously the main building uh, he was subsequently accused of uh, financial embezzlement and so in 1619 he was taken to the Tower of London and I can only assume that the intentions was to have had him beheaded uh, however a large ransom was paid uh, for his release and so he came back to live on this grounds uh, until his uh, death in 1626 um, so currently the old Hen house and gardens is in the stewardship of uh, English heritage um, but the family that owns uh, this land and the building is the Brybrook family. It's a Baron Brybrook. So they own uh, this land. But if you're an English Heritage member, you can actually come here, uh, walk on the grounds, uh, enjoy some nice picnic on a beautiful day. I'm always walking through this section very fast, but this is like one of the most beautiful sections of the grounds which i love very much uh, you've got a canal you've got the ducks and you've got the english heritage tents i mean to get english heritage membership will be about 120 pounds a year um, and that will allow you two adults and six children into a place like this so it's a uh, pretty good offer basically and I highly uh, recommend for families for couples um, to get here uh, uh, when you head northeast of London uh, on the M11 uh, that will bring, bring you here to Audley and house uh, postcode CB11 I think yeah it's uh, Walden Saffron uh, Saffron Walden yeah and um, as I spoke to the guys at the receptions, they will not allow filming in this um, fine Jacobian state mansion. And so at the very best, I can do most of the filming just on the outside. So the house uh, holds some fine paintings and artwork. 
uh, mainly sort of five functions so you have the um, you have the state rooms you have the service wing you have the service wing then you have the um, nursery and the coal gallery the coal gallery was used to produce um, they just like show how they produce hot water uh, to serve this house and then you have the stables where I have been already for the horses uh, training of the horses uh, for both sports and entertainment then you have the um, then you have the gardens the grounds maintaining it uh, I'm sure cost a lot of money so uh, I'm just getting a lot closer uh, to this uh, stately house so this structure as I said before has been sitting here since 1538 and so yeah, it really is amazing this the finest I hopefully it will go to the back the back of it and um, I think when you're actually approaching the place it does you know the canal has got a bridge there and it's uh, it's quite the view is just breathtaking so, really good. so hopefully on our next visit we will be heading uh, to Cambridge uh, where there is still uh, a lot of work to be done so artists in back in the day this place was also given to some of the writers and the artists uh, that were in Cambridge and even some also did come from Oxford uh, to stay here to do their work and also to write their speeches and stuff you can also come in here for afternoon tea if that's what um, fancies your tickle then you come in and you have your afternoon tea with your family so it's uh, very beautiful we are soon going to go inside but i'm going to film at the back jenny i'll just be back in a second let's do a quick one um so because i cannot actually film in the inside uh, miss uh, probably a little close-ups this is some of the artwork or sculpture i can see in the inside but surely i cannot go inside to film but uh, there's quite a lot we can see here obviously as an english heritage member when you come you can actually uh, go inside so once again all this land is part and parcel of this grand jacobian english mansion so this is the side of the building as you can see yeah, so this is uh, actually the side of it and uh, just entering the side gate probably looks more like uh, probably the west wing the west wing of the house and it's really um, awesome awesome I think uh, when you come in you do get a map that you can uh, basically use to access uh, but the whole idea the whole idea was just a life the victorian life style between the masters and the servants so if you were an aristocrat then then you were very privileged to enjoy uh, these facilities and then if you weren't then you were here to basically to keep the house running uh, so this is another section of the house this is actually the back and it looks even more beautiful <laughs> in the back even looks more beautiful than the front so yeah if you were one of those aristocrats then life was good life was good so you come in here you receive your visitors and you know you come into the stately gardens here to play but uh, if you were not an aristocrat then you come in here to work in the garden either way 
there is a benefit. In that way, there is a benefit because uh, when you're working, you do burn some cholesterol, so <laughs> it did help you, it kept you fit. Um, so, this is it. But the beautiful thing is that with your English Heritage membership, two adults and six children, you have access to 400 uh, English Heritage sites in England. So, you know, it's, it's a no-brainer. Jump on English Heritage, sign up, and bring your family round. Uh, because uh, these were, in those days, reserved for the aristocrats and the people that were well-to-do. But now, with your £120 a year, you can also come in here and get the experience. My encouragement to you is subscribe to the ECR tour as we tour in the UK um, by road and uh, so that you get an opportunity to get a snapshot of a place before you actually uh, make your way to visit. You gain some uh, information and direction on how to get to places like this. So to get here, once again, as I said, on the M11, uh, you head north from London. It'll take you about an hour and you'll be here. And you're actually sitting on the border of um, Cambridge uh, and Essex. So I think if you actually head into Cambridge, it takes you uh, probably another uh, 20, 25 minutes, if not less. And you'll be in Cambridge. So this is the beauty. Come in, get the experience. So, uh, so this is one of the English heritage caravans. So even if you don't know English heritage, just Google it and get your membership. And then gain that opportunity to come to places like this. Uh, this year, the weather has been absolutely awesome. Uh, weather has been really good. And so I say, why not? Why not? Um, at this stage, I'm still probably now I'm on the east wing or the east side of the building. So on the east side, you probably cannot see much. Oh yeah, I think yeah. I'm gonna get um, yeah. yeah, so you can see that's the each side uh, at the back of uh, Audley and House and Gardens. I mean, the money is the two hundred thousand pounds that uh, uh, Lord Thomas Howard used to build this place, the first L of Suffolk was quite a, a huge, a grand amount. But I suppose that it wasn't unusual uh, because uh, in the, at the time, you know, these things were, were done by the aristocrats and people in power. So, in as much as it was a lot of money, I mean, today I'm sure it would have been in the billions of pounds but the grounds are so huge that even to maintain it uh, can be quite uh, that's another moment here I think uh, I see the sign here that's like August 1797 so this has been sitting here for that long it's some sort of a, uh, a monument uh, I'll see if I can read um, uh, what is here Let's have a look. Da, 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 da. It could be, um, yeah, like uh, some kind of a, a grave headstone. Yeah, that's what it is. Yes. Yeah. 
It was a bit hard to read because uh, I think the ink is all faded into the concrete. So yeah, great. So it kind of goes on. In all fairness, it's uh, a nightmare trying to <laughs> cover the grounds of this house. It's huge. Uh, it's huge. So you can understand the amount of monies that were involved in in building it and in maintaining it. It's huge. And it's uh, really beautiful. So definitely highly recommended on a good day uh, to be here uh, to enjoy. Enjoy. You don't have to be an aristocrat to enjoy this place. Uh, so soon we will be heading inside the house where obviously uh, there cannot be any further filming. Mm. Mm, once again, I uh, get a, a closing on this. Um, ah, okay. Patron Garden. In 1825, Lord Braybrook, that is the Baron Braybrook, is currently the um, uh, the owner, if I should say, and the steward uh, of this place is uh, English heritage, embarked on a romantic Jacobian revival of the house, which he felt should be reflected in the garden. William Sorry Gilpin, a fashion garden designer, advised on the design of the pattern in 1832. The formal geometric layout of the beds were designed to be appreciated from the first floor windows of Lord Braybrook's uh, newly decorated uh, reception room. It's a notable early example of this type of garden and it was restored by English Heritage in 1993. Roses, uh, herbaceous, uh, herbaceous flowers and uh, animals reflect the original planting scheme and the bed and plants are changed twice a year to create a spring and summer display. So that's as far as I can read. I'm not like a, a great uh, gardener, so I'm not quite sure with some of these uh, terminologies in gardening. But uh, yeah, so I'm just going to go to the back again and uh, we get a last view but more or less on the east side east wing side of the garden it's, uh, from the side and that you complete um, the work here but do you come in here hit that m11 on a weekend uh, but do get your english heritage membership otherwise it costs you uh, a lot of money for a family to come here and then come here and enjoy the day and uh, get the experience of how the other side lives. Yeah. And so the whole idea was this sort of a, a master servant uh, kind of life, yes. So you were either here as an aristocrat enjoying your life or you were here as a servant uh, serving in this place so uh, this is it for Audley and house and gardens and today is the 27th of August uh, 2022 I'm doing this filming so hopefully you have uh, enjoyed uh, this video and it's been useful to you uh, I'm sure there was some sort of uh, a pond or something here in the ground but it's all dried up a fountain yes that's the word here yeah. uh, so come in and enjoy but don't forget to hit that subscribe button because next week we're heading into Cambridge uh, where a great deal of the university grounds will be covered so, uh, but as you can see it's really beautiful and very well kept and I mean what is really mind-blowing is the fact that 
these structures have been here for you know 500 years 600 years it's uh, if not more 700 years it's, uh, it's shocking yes so this is it this is the end of my filming so hope you've enjoyed it uh, subscribe for our next uh, video okay